Hey guys, what's up? Turbo Loco here. Welcome back to the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil qualifying runs. And today we're going to be playing as Papua New Guinea, a team that is brand new to this game. It doesn't feature on any other World Cup games. I figured that Papua New Guinea might be a fun nation to do on this one. And we haven't done an Oceania qualifying run on the 2014 World Cup game for almost a year now. So it'd be nice to try and navigate the Oceania qualifying region. The only team that really can pose a problem to us is probably New Zealand and maybe Tahiti because Tahiti are one and a half stars on that one. So let's see how we can do a Papua New Guinea. We're going to do a custom fixture type because we want it to be as random as possible. And um, there's literally no point in shuffling the group because the group is already shuffled. If I just keep pressing X, it just moves us around and it doesn't actually change the team. So there's literally no point in doing that. So keep the same uh, teams in there. And this video is all about, like we always do, trying to do the friendly matches and seeing who's a good player, who's not good and just chilling out with the squad and trying to have some fun in the first video before we launch our qualifying campaign. So kicking off our campaign with Papua New Guinea, we have a friendly match against Macau to look forward to. Don't really play Macau too often on this game. Uh, I think we've only got about three friendly matches scheduled before we actually jump into the group stages. I said at the start that Papua New Guinea was a new team featured on this game they don't feature on 2006 world cup definitely not on 2002 not 2010 either uh 2014 obviously they're here and of course not on the dlcs because they didn't get anywhere near the qualifying process this is the only time you're gonna see papua new guinea in a fifa game unless you got mods for a pc version of the game or um ea finally decide to release a full World Cup game, which is probably not going to happen. Macau are a half-star team, so it should be quite a fair match, and it should be easy for us to break them down. It's nice to return to some of the one-star or half-star teams. I do struggle with them at times, but um, yeah, it's just nice to play as them. We already played as Venezuela and Ni Nigeria as well. And those were fun runs. I highly doubt that Papua New Guinea will go to the World Cup unless I get extremely lucky. I'm fairly sure even if you qualify for the Oceania process, you still have to go through some sort of playoff. They're playing around with it. Too much in the box. We got it. And oh, go on. Yes, come on. It's 1-0. And the mistake led to that goal. And of course, Macau's defending ain't going to be the best, is it? I mean... Compared to me, Papua New Guinea, I'm in control. So obviously, you know, I've got a bit more of an, of an advantage. But the goalkeeper almost saved it. But it was just saved into the back of the net. And oh, it's gone in. Nice. <laughs> Straight away. And that is 2-0. Good header by Jack. The cross was even better. It's just slide tackled away. That's going to be a corner to Papua New Guinea. What can they do just before half time? Maybe extend that. Oh, I was about to say, extend that 2 0 lead. Almost did. Go for the strike. And oh my god. Like, <laughs> how many shots have we had in this one? Papua New Guinea 2, Macau 0. I reckon we can get maybe four goals by the end of this match. Macau trying to press. And I'm trying to get them. There we go. They really haven't done an awful lot. I mean, they're being a little bit more awkward now in the second half, trying to push me and everything. But we've been quite responsive defensively. Second half hasn't been the half that I've kind of wanted. We've slowed down and Macau have had more of the ball as well. So a bit more of an even contest in the second half. But the first half was just all about me. Go on. Go on. Yes, it's free. And uh, Komeng has scored to make it 3-0. I mean, they just couldn't tackle me in the box. They didn't even want to go for it. And um, that's the perfect finish, really. Every time they kept trying to go near me, I was like turning around. You know, <laughs> they just couldn't get anywhere near me. Nice strike into the bottom corner as well. Any other goalkeeper would have saved that. But the quality of the two sides, of course, you are going to score kind of, well, goals like that. And that's going to be it. Papua New Guinea get a strong 3-0 win in this friendly match. Very good result. And we'll take that one into the next friendly match. 
and I can't remember who it is against. It might be Malaysia. So currently, we got really good form going into the second friendly match, and I'd like it to stay like that for the whole campaign. Of course, it's not going to stay like that because we're going to run into someone who's just a little bit too good for Papua New Guinea. Our next match is against Malaysia. Again, another one star or one and a half star team on this game. So a little bit more tougher than Macau. So we've got to be sort of better defensively in this one, I think. I don't think we're going to have enough freedom on the ball. They're passing around at the back and we've stolen it away here. Went to the wrong guy, but we've gone for it and it's a good save there. Went to the wrong man, but it still paid off. Go on. Through ball and oh, good save. Nice save by the Malaysia keeper. We still have it. Edge of the box and off the post and we couldn't get it. Oh, a moment of madness there. So not much has happened in this first half apart from me hitting the post. A lot of yellow cards being dished out to Papua New Guinea players for previous tackles. Most of the time, Malaysia, I'll get near them and then they'll just turn away and I'll accidentally foul them. Hager, through ball, and that is going to be offside. I thought I was on then. I thought, oh, they left a decent gap, but look how close that was. Oh, wow, what a ball that was. And now Malaysia are pushing. No, get in front of it. Oh, that was a good save by the goalkeeper. It's kind of been a struggle for both teams offensively in this match. Attacking has been really difficult because of the offsides and the fouls that have happened in this match. Malaysia in the 86th minute pushing and um, we just dealt with them. A not very exciting match. Really has been a bit of a snooze fest in terms of attacking play. Defensively, if you love defence, then yeah, you're going to get it in this match. But uh, attacking wise, horrible. And it's a bit disappointing that Malaysia have come to Papua New Guinea to play like this. And it's also frustrating that my players can't seem to go through. But here we go. Here comes Jack. Oh, he scored. Yes, 90th minute. And that is 1-0 thanks to Jack's goal there. And that was incredible. That strike, especially when the, the sort of run of play was kind of like diagonally going away from goal there. We caught him, we hit it, and oh, what a strike, man. What a strike. We barely had any attacking plays in that match. And other than the post hit, that was the one that defined the game. Incredible. Good win. We had to grind that one because Malaysia were very, very poor in that match. And... They just wanted to play possession-based football. So we've only got one more scheduled friendly match to play, and that's Thailand. So I think that's probably going to be the hardest one that we're going to play because Thailand are actually a pretty decent sort of one or two star team on this game. Our final friendly match is against Thailand. We are away from home for this match. Not too far to travel, to be fair, from Papua New Guinea to Thailand. I still think... In this game, I think we'll play well, but I think we will lose. I just don't know why. I just think that Thailand will be better than the other two opponents that we played. I could be wrong, but I just always think that Thailand are quite underrated. Thailand are trying to like just speed their way past my defenders. And that will probably work towards the latter stages of this match. Good ball into the box and oh, good save. I thought I was going to put it into one of the corners, but no, it went straight at the Thailand keeper. Oh, what's that going to be? Is that the player that's already booked? No, it's not. But that was a really odd challenge because I think he was actually going to get go and get the ball. Opega crossed that in and oh, it nearly found its man, but defending was a little bit too tight. Thailand haven't done anything for a couple of minutes now. I'd say about 10, 15 minutes. And we've been really strong defensively. Come on, get in front of them. They keep weaving their way into the box. And I've missed that challenge. And he did... Oh, that's such a delayed penalty. I was like, he went down. And I was thinking to myself, oh, that can't be a pen, surely. Oh, that is a bit light, referee. Come on, you can't be doing that. Dang da... With the penalty. He's put it down the middle and he scores for Thailand just before half time. That is 1-0. Go 
Go on. Oh, it's just over the bar. I got pressured a little bit too much there. I should have passed it to the people going into the box. Half time. It's still 1-0. They've got good passing play going on so far. Is there a chance? And that's a little bit too much on the cross. It's really hard to sort of get that right level that you need, especially with a one-star team with the crossing into the middle. Keeney into the middle again, and it's trickled in. Yes, it's Jack with the goal. And I don't know how the tie keeper didn't stop that. That was going at like one mile an hour, that ball. And Jack has scored again for Papua New Guinea to make it 1-1. Have they rescued this? I mean, it was a quick shot. I knew I was going to get tackled. And we were lucky enough that it bounced off the post and went straight into the back of the net from that bounce. Go on, cross that in. That's a decent ball. And over the bar. That ball was ridiculous. Like, literally the best ball we played into the box all game. And the header was the one that missed the chance not the actual ball into the box and that's going to be it Papua New Guinea have drawn against Thailand very good draw I'd say especially to rescue it obviously conceding the penalty and then we took quite a while to get into the game and then when we did the chance came and Jack put it away from striking the post so good result in our final friendly matches we went unbeaten in the friendly matches as well so if you look at the schedule for these three matches they're literally back to back to back literally like <laughs> every other day we have a match that's going to really impact our stamina so squad rotation is very important so our first qualifying match is against Vanuatu away from home can we set the tone in this one, use the form from the friendly matches and get an important win away from home? I think it's only the team that comes top of the group that will advance to the next round. I don't think it's the other three. So it's going to be extremely competitive considering that we're all the same rating. Oceana qualifiers are always fun. The quality of football may be awful, but at the same time, you don't have any massive juggernauts. And he gets tackled there. Goes for the strike and off the post. Oh, that was unlucky. Come on, keep keep going. Oh, back to me. Go on, strike it. Yes, it went in. And that's Jack again. Jack has been so important in this qualifying run. Uh, and the friendly matches as well. He scored his first qualifying goal. And that was such a nice finesse shot. I left the keeper standing. It was so nice. And I've talked about this before. The finesse shots on this game are way more sort of realistic than 2010. Go on. Over the top here. That's actually a really good ball. That better not be offside. Komeng. Out to you. Was that a good decision or not? To you. And oh, what a save. Ridiculous. Into the middle. And oh, I couldn't shoot. Oh, that was so delayed. It's Keeney. He had to stop and almost lobbed the keeper with that shot. Good save. It's a corner to Papua New Guinea. We've had so many attempts and yet only one goal. Oh, no header. Foster's got it on the edge of the box. He's gone for it and another save. How many shots, dude? Honestly, like we've been so good offensively in this match and on the defensive end as well. But we just can't seem to put more numbers on the score sheet. Vanuatu are pressing. I don't think they've even had a shot on goal yet. That's how dominant we've been in the first half. That's their strike and it's hit the post and that's gone in. But it's offside, thankfully. What was that goalkeeping? Maybe the goalkeeper did it because he knew it was offside. Because the flag went up after it hit the post. But still, poor goalkeeping. Crossed into the box by Vanuatu. And I couldn't get rid of that. I couldn't get rid of it. And Bong Naim, Bong Naim scores to make it 1-1. Never heard of him. But yeah, he scores. And um, yeah, I couldn't clear it. Literally, I held the X button. And it didn't even give me a chance to thump the ball away. He already caught it down on the volley after he chested it. And he does this sort of like half scissor kick kind of thing. And it goes straight in. Oh, this has been really poor by Papua New Guinea. It's just... So many chances were squandered in this match. And now we've actually come back here and we're level 
in the second half. I told you at half time that it would have come back to bite me. And now the referee is blowing for fouls every five seconds of this match. Vanuatu got extremely lucky that they didn't lose this by um, more goals. Because we should have been way more clinical than we were in this match. But sadly, it's just been... Well, it's been awful in front of goal in terms of the actual putting the ball into the back of the net. I have changed up the squad for the summer match away from home. Hopefully, the, the substitutes can actually build on that result. I mean, a draw is still a draw. It's not a loss, so it's something, you know. I don't think that Papua New Guinea are particularly a brilliant side in real life, so we're probably already better than what they are. Could we beat Samoa here? They've already lost against Tahiti, so surely they're in bad form. Hopefully they have the same schedule as us as well. So this is the second match of three in one week. These players are going to start to be really fatigued by the third match. That's what we need to take advantage of. That's why I've taken off some of my best players and saved them for the third match. We do have players that are kind of not got any form so it might be harder to actually score even though I keep pressing that's a good ball though and oh deflected away ball movement and the dribbling is so hard to get used to when I've just played a series with Nigeria and I've come here now with Papua New Guinea the transition isn't that great headed back in and then back out again back into the box back out of the box <laughs> it's just like Tennis, pretty much. Just keeps hitting it back. And that's going to be offside anyway. Well, a really poor start from both of these sides. I'd say that Papua New Guinea should have probably had one goal in that uh, first half, at least. Oh, good tackle. Here comes Wama. Yes, he scored. And an awful defensive error has made us score to make it 1-0. All Samoa have been doing is just passing it back to their defence and then just keeping possession. And they deserve that because they keep doing it. If you're going to try and beat me, at least attack. But they're not doing that. It feels like they just don't know what to do. So yeah, 1-0 to Papua New Guinea. So this could be a potential three points if we can keep scoring and keep the pressure on. Because Jack is going through here. And this could be another goal. And it is another goal. And it's hands with the goal there. It is 2-0. That's what we wanted. That is what we wanted. A quick fire counter-attack like that when they were pressing. For a ball to Sito. Could this be free? It's Sito. And he scored. Yeah, that's just too much for Samoa. And it is 3-0. Samoa are clearly running out of stamina now. They just can't keep up. Oh, missed tackle. Oh, I missed it again. What are they doing? Oh, that was a really poor shot. They went on like some sort of special run. And the shot was just the worst part about it. It was so special up until that point. It's crossed in by Samoa. Headed away and they scored. And East Hope has scored to make it... 3-1 now, and to be honest, that was actually a really nice strike. It was headed back in, and he took it first time on the volley, and it went straight in. And there we go, Papua New Guinea finally get a win in this qualifying campaign in the second match, and we will close the gap a little bit on Tahiti. I think we will have four points, and they will have six, unless they threw the game away, which I'm kind of hoping they did. But I think our next match is against Tahiti. Right, so they did beat Vanuatu in the end. So the group will look like that. They have six points and we have four. Vanuatu with one, Samoa with zero. It's a good thing we let some of our players rest, but the form is a little bit mixed now. Maybe because I let some of these players rest, I don't know, but... We have to beat Tahiti here. We absolutely have to. Here we go then. At home against Tahiti, what will happen here between these two? Tahiti seem like they're on better form than me, but I'm in control of Papua New Guinea, of course, and I can probably try and, you know, cheese my way to victory. The first team had a chance to rest, and that's what you love to see. We want to have the players to be in decent condition for this match. Through ball. Komeng. 
uh, tackle, but we still got the possession of the ball and it's cleared away. How defensive are Tahiti right now? I mean, they don't need to win the game. If they draw, then they're pretty much secure into the next round of qualifying. Into the box and it's cut out again by Tahiti's defense. We've been all over them, but we just can't seem to get that shot that we need that has a lot of time and a lot of space. Here comes Foster. Foster off the underside of the bar. What? Header. Oh, that's a good one. Caught him. Yes, we scored just before half time. And Komeng has scored to make it 1 0. And Tahiti have made a massive error there. I don't know what they were doing, but Papua New Guinea have got the lead. And very important as well. That header was so good. It allowed us to get straight back on attack and actually put the ball into the back of the net. Half time, it's 1 0 to Papua New Guinea. Can we keep this up? It seems like our players, even though we gave them a rest, they're starting to fatigue. Through ball. Oh, if we didn't get there, they would have caught us. They were like literally, oh my god, what a ball. And just wide by Tahiti. How close was that? That was such a good ball into the box. And the header was just the only thing that went wrong. Over the top. I don't know if we're going to get there. This guy has got zero stamina. Look at him. <laughs> he was trying, but no, he is definitely out of stamina. We're going to make some subs, I think, especially at the back. I think most of my players are pretty much like out of stamina. Let's have a look. Yeah, 14 for Foster. Oh, that's a good play. Here comes Jack. This could be it. Through ball. And oh, go on. No, I couldn't quite get it into the box again. And Jack couldn't get it. And, uh, I mean, we are out of stamina. So our control and everything isn't going to be great. Now, here come Tahiti. I bet you they equalise because everybody's starting to pull up now, even on their team. Again, out to the wing. Whammer's got full stamina. Whether it's Tahiti's defenders haven't. Can we finish this game off? Off the post. And yes, yes. I just pressed the B button just to try and get it away from the goalkeeper. And we did. And that is 2-0. And I'm fairly sure we've gone through from that goal. Whammer with the goal. And yes, come on. What a... Well, that was really lucky. And that's going to be it. Papua New Guinea have beaten Tahiti 2-0. And I'm fairly sure that we have advanced to the next round, I think. Because there was no other qualifying fixtures on the calendar. That's your group table on the right-hand side. We pip Tahiti to the top spot by one point, And Papua New Guinea have finished at the top. Yeah, I was right. We advanced to the next round. We are in round two now. So we're in group A alongside the Solomon Islands, American Samoa and New Caledonia. So that's going to be a very interesting group for the next video. If you did enjoy this part, this part one, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.